Hello everyone, and welcome back to 12 underscore 5 tech. I'm your host, and today I'm excited to share with you a comprehensive guide on how to set up UDP settings in Droid VPN. This tutorial will walk you through every step of the process, from downloading the app to configuring your UDP connection for optimal performance. VPNs have become essential tools for protecting our online privacy and accessing restricted content. Droid VPN is a popular choice among users, and understanding how to properly configure its UDP settings can significantly improve your connection speed and stability. UDP, or User Datagram Protocol, is often faster than TCP because it doesn't require acknowledgement of received packets, making it ideal for streaming and browsing. Let's dive right into the step-by-step -step process. First, we need to download and install Droid VPN from the Google Play Store. Open your mobile phone and launch the Play Store app. In the search bar, type Droid VPN and hit enter. From the list of results, locate Droid VPN and tap on it. Click the Install button to begin the download process. The installation should take just a few moments, depending on your internet connection speed. Once the installation is complete, we can proceed to the next phase of our setup. Launch the Droid VPN application, and you'll be greeted by the home screen. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the interface. You'll notice different protocol options available, including UDP, TCP, ICMP, and HTTP. Each protocol serves different purposes, but today we're focusing specifically on UDP settings for optimal performance. Before we can configure the UDP settings, we need to set up an account. This is a crucial step that many users overlook. Tap on the hamburger menu icon, typically located in the top corner of the screen, and navigate to settings. In the menu list, click on account. If you already have a Droid VPN account, simply enter your username and password, then click Save. However, if you're new to Droid VPN, you'll need to create an account first. For new users, click on the Sign Up button. This will redirect you to the Droid VPN registration page where you can create your credentials. Choose a unique username, create a strong password, and provide a valid email address. This account will be essential for accessing Droid VPN services and managing your connection settings. Now comes the main part of our tutorial, configuring the UDP settings. Return to the settings menu and look for UDP settings. This is where the magic happens. You'll see various configuration options that can significantly impact your VPN performance. Set the ports according to the recommended settings. These may vary depending on your location and network requirements. Pay special attention to the connection type settings. You have several options, including normal, mode one, and other configurations. I recommend starting with normal mode and testing your connection. If you experience issues or want to optimize further, you can experiment with mode one or other available options. Each mode handles data transmission differently, so finding the right one for your specific needs may require some testing. After configuring all your UDP settings, it's time to establish the connection. Click the start button to initiate your VPN connection. You should see connection status indicators showing that Droid VPN is attempting to establish a secure tunnel. This process usually takes a few seconds to complete. To monitor your connection and troubleshoot any potential issues, Droid VPN provides a comprehensive log system. Navigate to the Settings menu and click on the Log section. Here you can view detailed information about your connection status, any errors that might occur, and general performance metrics. This log is invaluable for troubleshooting connection issues or optimizing your settings further. That wraps up today's comprehensive guide on setting up UDP settings in Droid VPN. By following these steps, you should now have a properly configured VPN connection that offers improved speed and reliability. Remember, VPN configuration can vary depending on your specific network conditions and requirements, so don't hesitate to experiment with different settings to find what works best for you.
If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to 12 underscore 5 tech for more technology tutorials and tips. Have questions or suggestions for future videos? Drop them in the comments below. I read every single one and love engaging with our community. Until next time, stay safe online and keep exploring